today on the Trend Out Loud podcast. Kanye is on the precipice of, of showing us what the new future of entertainment is going to be. In the future, you're going to be... What up? It's your boy Trend Out Loud and I'm back with another episode. I don't have a huge episode set up for you guys today, but I have three really good topics that I want to dive into and discuss. So strap in, get your snacks, get your ear pods, turn your speakers up because I'm about to start this show. Let's go. Let me tell y'all why Kanye West will never be canceled. Yes, Kanye West is back in the news. Um, over the weekend, he was in Miami out in Art Basel. So was I. I'll let you boy. Um, and um, he was at Live, and then he had his own, um, I don't know, a little kind of private party in a restaurant. And he also closed out Art Basel um, at, uh, I think, I don't remember exactly where the location was at, but um, he had a rave and he debuted uh, his album with um, Ty Dollar Sign. A bunch of celebra- celebrities were there. Little Dirk was there. Um, Chris Brown was there. Um, but the star of the show was Northwest. Check it out. All right, so those were the guests that were in attendance, and that was North. And let me show, and let me describe for the people who are not on YouTube what I'm about to show. Uh, Kanye West also came on stage in a KKK outfit, but a reversed, an all black one. So for those of you who can't see the picture, you know the whole KKK outfit with the cone, but they wear all white. Kanye came out in the exact same outfit, but all black. All right. Um, now that you have all that information, let me get to my point of why Kanye West is, is doing all of this. Kanye is doing all of this right now to show up and show out. Kanye West knew that he could not be canceled. And he said that when he said, I could say anti-Semitic and Adidas can't drop me. I think he was doing that on purpose to get dropped from Adidas, lose all of these deals to come back to start doing what he's doing now. Kanye West um, came to Adidas and built his own line of sneakers. Um, He's built his own line of clothing. He's always um, pretty much, for the most part, produced his own music. Kanye West is his own system, and he's always tried to um, break away from the traditional system that is the entertainment world and he's always tried to push the boundaries and push the lines of it with the things that he says and even sometimes with the music that he makes Um, and I think this is the beginning of us seeing the true real Kanye and what makes me even know more is that how he's coming out with music first before he's coming out with shoes again because we all know we all know him from that. Like that's his first avenue. That's his first, you know, that's what his fans love him for the most. Um, and the fact that he's coming out with uh, a joint album with, with Ty Dollar Sign. I'm not too sure, to be honest with you, why he's doing it with Ty Dollar Sign. I'm sure there's something behind it. Um, but the support that he's garnering, um, the attention, and the fact that nobody is screaming out, "Oh my gosh, cancel Kanye! Don't put him out! Don't put him this, etc." It's, it's more proof to me that, um, that he is going to come back and do every single thing that he was doing and he's going to do it on his own without the partnerships and the deals that he has before. And if he is, it's going to be contractually different and it's going to be with him leading the charge more than it being like a license deal, like how we had with Adidas. Um, I think the music distribution is going to be different. Um, the consumption of it's going to be different. His shoes are going to be different. And um, his apparel is going to be different. I just think that Kanye is on the precipice of, of showing us what the new 
future of entertainment is going to be. Um, and, and, and the, 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 I don't know if it's the word is the catalyst to that, but the, 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 or the nuance. I don't know what, exactly what the right word is, but, um, what, what I'm trying to say is that in the future, um, you're going to be, or celebrities or even people that, that have enough success will be able to do whatever they want because they'll be able to have uh, a way to streamline their income where there's where there where they don't have to follow a construct and more proof to that is um uh look at twitter how twitter now is no longer on a public forum because it's not a publicly traded company it's owned by elon musk so he could do whatever he wants that's one social platform that's a major platform um and you see um elon letting um andrew tate back on um donald trump and of course kanye west so in the future, I feel like there's going to be more independently owned platforms like that. And the, the, like the television networks and the, the bigger constructs are, will still probably exist, but the people who want to buck that system and go independent, they're going to be able to make, if not as much, maybe even more money because they could streamline their income directly to themselves and are not going to have to, um, to to divvy up that money with any major company so um to me like this weekend went meant way more than kanye just pushing out some new music this is kanye testing his his future it's he's testing his plans um and, and he has um and he i, I i'm sure i for, for certain um he has a lot of things that are in the pipeline a lot of things that he's working on and if you think that Kanye West is not going to come back out with sneakers again, <laughs> you're absolutely crazy. Um, and it's just going to be super interesting to see how much um, he could go out on his own after the major backlash that he faced. Um, and, and, and I'm interested to see um, how he's going to be able to pull this off. Let me tell you guys why rich men tend to date women that are not in their financial bracket. So I was online and um, I saw this headline and a clip that said, why rich men date broke women? <laughs> so let me play the clip. If you start talking to a lot of these, like you guys and a lot of wealthy men and men in that 1% and up, cause we know it's levels, uh, you know, they're not partnering with those women. And if they are, and some of them are, right? Cause I hear that all the time. Well, he dates girls that wait tables and do this. There's a why there, okay? And I'm not judging because again, that's a man who said, I went to law school, I went and got my MBA, I did these things so I could earn 700,000, 1.2 million, 3 million a year, so I can be in exclusive full control. And she's going to go on vacation, where the fuck I tell her we're going on vacation. Pack the bag. Well, I don't think, I, I don't think, let, let me interject, let me interject. Let me just, I don't think that that's, that's a fair way to, to, to characterize the situation. Because okay, what she was saying there was wild. Um, but I wanted to talk about this because um, actually this topic came up uh, last week during my live, which y'all should check out on my Instagram every Thursday night around 9, 10 o'clock. Um, and, uh, one of the girls that was on my live was talking about, um, uh, men wanting submissive women, which is indirectly what this girl is saying, where it's rich guys are, are going, are want to go up with broke girls to control. And that has nothing to do with, um, controlling anybody or has nothing to do with ha having somebody that's submissive. Um, let me explain to you what it has to do. Somebody, a man that is successful most of the time is a, is a, is a, um, I hate the word alpha male, but is a, is a leader male, whatever a leadership is, or is a male that, that likes being in a leadership position. And what I was explaining on my live is that not it, when you're, when you're in, um, when you're in a, a company or when you're in a household or when you're in a, an, an environment with a group of people, whether it be a business or a family, you cannot have too many leaders. A leader is the person who's in front, who's leading. And just like a company, 
just like a business, you have a CEO, but you have still very strong people who are behind the CEO, the CFO, the CMO, the COO, et cetera, et cetera, right? And then you have your management and you have district and you have uh, trickles down. But just because somebody is a CEO doesn't mean the CFO is, uh, is controlled by the CEO or that means that they're submissive. Um, and, and it's the same thing with a household. A, a man that likes to be in a leadership position will generally try to find somebody who doesn't necessarily like leading. Um, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Like I go back to the business where a lot of people that are not in CEO positions are, are, can or have the ability to be in CEO positions and even more so have the ability to go off and have their own businesses, but they choose not to because they don't like making those final decisions. And there's nothing wrong with that. So when I bring it back to a household now or in a marriage or in a relationship, when you're with a man that um, makes a lot of money or a man that wants to be in a leadership position, there's I don't think there's anything wrong with him saying, I would like to find somebody who nece doesn't necessarily want to lead, but but is strong enough to be my partner to help me got to guide through my life decisions that I'm making while I'm out here leading or leading this family. And just like a business, you sit down and you talk with your C-suite executives, who would be your wife or your partner at that time, and say, babe, what do you want to do? Da, 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 da. And this woman or your partner may not feel comfortable making the leadership decisions and wants her man or partner to make the leadership choice to make the final say. And there's nothing wrong with that. That happens every day in this world. So um, I hate when I hear women and, and, and shout out to Ebony K. Williams. I, I, I really like her. She's on the breakfast club a lot. I think she has a lot of good things. And like Charlemagne says, she really gets the internet talking. However, I really hate to hear when women say that a, a man or an alpha man or a lead, a man that likes to be a leader or a, a, a financially ambitious man wants to find a broke girl to control. No, we want to find a partner that is, that is equal to us or even smarter, but however, they do not necessarily like to be in the leadership position and like to be more in the supporting position, i.e. like how it works in businesses. And there is nothing wrong with that. So ladies, stop being so concerned with men that, that, that you think want a woman that's submissive or a woman that we can control because I'm not saying that there's not some guys out like out, out there like that, but there's obnoxious guys, there's asshole guys, there's et cetera, et cetera. Not every man that's in a leadership position that wants a woman that's supportive is, is an asshole. Yo, when it comes to your friends, what are your icks? Yo, I thought this was a really, really good um, topic that I found online um, because it has to do with friendship, right? And you know, your, your best friends are your best friends and you're ready to ride or die for them. But everybody has like a, ugh, I hate that this friend does that, or I hate that he that, or she doesn't do this. One of my best friends who I grew up with, we don't have necessarily the same um, things that we like, right? Like I like clubbing. He likes more staying home. I like, I'm like a party guy. I want to be around with a bunch of girls. He's more like, okay, I just want to find one girl and have a relationship with. Like we are very, very different. We grew up together. So that's where the, like the foundation of our friendship lies. But we have a lot of, we're not very similar when it comes to the things that we like. So now that you know that, let me tell you, um, one of my icks. So because we are different, but still like best friends, I try to, um, understand the things that he likes and still be a part of the things that he likes. For example, he might like what he likes to go away to Antigua on vacation. I find Antigua a little bit boring. It's not party. It's not crazy. It's not a bunch of girls running around. It's not partying. It's not drinking. It's more like of a whatever. I don't want to put down any Antiguans out there, but everybody, anybody who's been to Antigua, it's more of a low profile. You maybe go out to Antigua, which, which are girl, it's a little bit more romantic. It's not a party trip. However, um, my boys like going out there. So I'll go out there with them. However, 
I like going down to DR and going to the nightclubs and being up till four or five, five o'clock in the morning and drinking and et cetera, et cetera. But they never want to come with me. And I find that is a one of my big icks. If you're a friend out there who you don't have all the same interests, you still have to try to find some interest in the things that your friend likes because that's what being a friend is all about. You got to support them in the things that you may not like. So, hey, I might like, you know, a steak dinner and you might like, I don't know, whatever, sushi. It doesn't mean that we're always going to go over to your steak dinners. I feel like I'm the type of friend that I always try to, to, to kind of like, to try to, be supportive in the things that are not necessarily me because I feel like the friendship is more important. So who cares the the food that I'm eating? It's, it's more, I'm just having more of a good time hanging out with, with my buddies where my boy is like, nah, I don't like sushi. I'm going to stay home, which sucks, man. Anyways, that's one of my big icks with one of my friends. Let me know in the comment section below. What are some of the icks that your best friends, uh, give you? If that even makes any sense. What are your, what are some of your icks when it comes to your bestie? Peace. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy, turn out loud. Peace. Go to signupexpert.com forward slash Trent. And then once you sign up for all betting apps and get all your bonuses and get all your rewards, go to your app store and download BetStamp and use promo code TOL.